Okay, so can you get a DUI if you're driving in autopilot in your Tesla? Uh, you get pulled over, you know, you show the cop this, hey, look, um, you know, uh, I'm not driving. This vehicle drives itself, officer, officer, you know? <laughs> uh, that happened to a guy in California, and uh, he got pulled over uh, at 3 in the morning and allegedly been drinking and driving. Um, and they, his, his attorney and him, were, I think, were going to argue that the vehicle was driving itself. I don't know how that case turned out, but uh, I don't think that's a very a good argument, in my opinion. You know, if that happened and you went out and you got yourself a uh, clever attorney and they start to dissect the statute or the wording in the statute, the language used to try to show that you weren't driving, like in Washington, here's the statute for DUI and you're driving, uh, you know, drive and driving a vehicle within this state. And so here's the definition of drive and it includes the word motor vehicle. And so your attorney is going to go on to argue it's not a motor vehicle, you know, it doesn't have what's required, which is uh, mechanical power, it's electric power and, you know, um, then some prosecutor or judge is likely to just respond and say, look, there's further definitions you should read. You know, this one says vehicle and every device being, you know, capable of being moved upon a public highway. So uh, to argue this and to try to win this is very slim. And and I think your chances are this, you know, that's, that's what chance you have. Until full self-driving gets approved, now that might be a different story. Uh, you know, if there's a, a government approval, statewide approval, and then they act more like a taxi, you can avoid this happening to you. And you can avoid what, you know, the guy is trying to argue over in California that he wasn't driving. You know, that that may be the case eventually, you know, like uh, Total Recall when they're taking a taxi like that. Um, but hey, if you want to, you know, want to avoid it, the easiest way is to take a, you know, a rideshare service or, you know, have a friend pick you up or whatever, uh, because no one wants to be on the side of the road doing this or, uh, you know, to get locked up and have to go to jail. That's my opinion, guys. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and comment with any questions below. Thanks a lot.